test tube began with tomato juice and is called the tomato juice rainbow. How did we create this fantastic rainbow using tomatoes? Keep watching. First we made bromine water. Quite simply, this is molecular bromine dissolved in water. Then we dripped the bromine water onto the tomato juice to initiate this colorful effect. Because tomato juice is so thick, it helps the reaction last much longer. The long and narrow test tube keeps the colors separated longer by maintaining a steep density gradient. If we compare it to a shallow beaker, the colors mix rapidly to look more like a tomato juice swamp. Tomatoes are red because they have the carotenoid lycopene, which absorbs green light. When we add bromine water to the tomato juice, it adds to the lycopene and it removes double bonds in the molecule, which means it absorbs a shorter wavelength of light. This explains why we see yellow, but not why we see blue and green. These intriguing blue and green layers are from a stage just before bromine adds to lycopene called the charge transfer complex, which allows the exchange of charges between the bromine and the double bond. We see blue because the charge transfer complex absorbs light at higher wavelengths, and when the blue and yellow layers mix, we get green. That's all for this episode of ChemLapsed. Make sure to check out the original publication in the Journal of Chemical Education so you can show off this demo to your students. Thanks for watching. Leave some comments and hit the subscribe and share buttons.